Hello everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video in Maya 2024. Well, it's been a while since I did an animation tutorial and today we're going to do just that and we're going to be uh, talking about an editable, uh, not an editable, an editable uh, motion trail, right? So what is that all about? Well, first we're going to set up a simple animation, okay? So I'm just going to jump into my modeling menu and uh, we're going to set something up here. We'll take a uh, polygon cube, why not? We're going to scale this up, push it in, something like so. And then we're going to go in here to face and select that one and uh, that one. And we're going to hit Control E to extrude. We'll hit R to pull in like so. And we'll just hit delete and we can close up the gaps and all that but that's not important for now right so we're just going to leave it as is all right so we're going to put that on our grid so there you have it and let's say we want a ball to kind of bounce uh, from somewhere around here and then bounce through that hole okay so we're going to go and make sure we're in modeling we're going to go and create a polygon sphere let's put that over here somewhere there you have it okay all right now let's say our animation is starting somewhere around here okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a couple of frames here let's do uh, I don't know 200 or so yeah it's fine we're gonna move to frame one we got this guy selected we're gonna hit S to keyframe that yeah there you go all right and then we're gonna move it to let's say 20 and then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna keyframe that and then we're gonna drag to 40 move it over here keyframe that let's go to 60 move it over here keyframe that we get the idea right 80 and keyframe that and actually 80 is fine right all right so if i do nothing else you would say what's the point of the keyframe right let me just uh, change the speed here let's go to uh let's go to this guy right here yeah hit play again there you have it okay now let's make this a little bit more interesting. We're going to go back. We know that it's jumping on tens, right? So we're going to go to 15, all right? Take this guy, move it up as the keyframe. Okay, we're going to scrub forward. We're going to go to uh, 30, yeah? We're going to move that up again as the keyframe. We're going to move to that would be 50, 50 is right here. So we need to go through that hole in the middle. So we're gonna keyframe that. And then we're gonna go to 70 and we're gonna move that up. And we're gonna keyframe that, okay. Now, if we jump back, we'll get something looking like this. Boing, 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 okay. Looks absolutely horrendous, but doesn't matter, right? Okay, now the whole idea is this. You want to see your motion a track and you want to be able to edit it. Now, normally in your animation menu, you would go to uh, your graph editor, right? And it would show what you have set up so far, okay? Now, uh, you can see that it's uneven and it's, it's all over the place. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Now. If you want to tweak your animation, you'll be doing it here. However, if you um, enable the editable motion track, you can do it on screen. And it's very, very cool. So I got this guy selected. I'm in my animation menu. I'm going to go up to visualize. I'm going to go to create editable motion trail. And when I click on it, you will see the exact path that the ball is taking. So if I hit play, there you have it. And the cool thing is, like I suggested by saying editable motion track, is you can edit this, right? So I can literally go in here, take this guy and move it. And when I hit play again, you'll see that it will follow that track, right? 
Let me bring this uh, range down a little bit. Hang on. Okay, right? So hit play. You can see that it's following that perfectly. Okay. Now, what if you want to, I don't know, set this way down here? You can do that. Jump back to frame one. Hit play. Now, is this awesome or what? Right? Now, let's say for whatever reason, the ball is not jumping through that hole properly, right? Well, it would be really easy to adjust. So let's create a situation where that's the case. We're going to go in here. Let's take this guy and move it way up, right? So jump back. It's going to bounce. It's going to go way over, which is not good. So what you can do is you can literally go in here. You can grab that point. You can push it down and then go back in here. Set it to frame one. Hit play. And there you have it. Now, what's really cool uh, about this is, uh, I mean, in this case, it's a super simple setup, right? You got a ball, you got a hole jumping through. But let's say you have a character and you want to follow arm movements or leg movements or walk movements or anything like that. This will give you a very good before and after uh, view of what's going on. And it's very easy to use this when you want to tweak motions, right? So yeah, that's all I wanted to share in this video. So it's editable uh, motion track. You can find that if you go to the animation menu, you go up to visualize, and then you click on create editable motion trill while making sure that you have the object selected. That's all there's to it, right? So thank you guys for watching. As always, let me know in the comments what you think. If you enjoyed the video, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.